Hi guys, I am back with another video with another cosplay DIY thing I've been obsessed with. I have a huge cosplay slum and now I'm rising like a phoenix. I'm doing things. So yeah, I have another project and I want to take you with me. So I've been obsessed with Okay, I've been literally obsessed with the um, Shadow and Bone trilogy and you know if you've seen it you might have seen it on Netflix is actually uh, the first season is out and the next one is coming up in one year and I will show you my little collection as you can see I have um this little box right here these are collector's edition this is what i'm taking my inspo from this is the six of crows and the crooked kingdom which is the duology that follows um the shadow and bone trilogy as well as we have the companion the lives of the saint which is where i'm getting a lot of my inspo and you might have guessed it we are making a cosplay from there so, you know guys, I'm crazy and I'm lucky as well. So I decided to make my own kefta. Yes, I did a design on, like a very stupid design uh, on Procreate and this is what I'm going for. And this is actually because I found the most perfect thing from a thrift shop to use as a base, which is going to be my kefta. So we're making the kefta of Alina Starkov. Um, I know that it's gray and it's not black, but I'm gonna uh, take more inspo from the art for the original art that um, they made for the book instead of the series, because there have been like, minor things that i didn't really like um so we have this little amazing kefta which has like openings on the back i really really love it and i was cleaning up my um workshop and everything and i was like okay and i found this which was sequins and like I don't know is it so busy in my neighborhood these days I don't know so I found this sequence um, that I've bought a very long time ago from Aliexpress and it was actually um, a pack of uh, six I think it had like this little um, thingies right here as well as this uh, and this so I've bought this whole thing for four euros I went back on Aliexpress and I ordered some more of these because we are going to fill the whole kefta back, sleeves, front and all the way down to with like sequins. Like I want to be sparkly sparkly. Um, so that's that. I also bought a belt which is going to go here and then I'm going to make some like I'm going to make the pull with the bed. Um, of the uh, uh, Atheralki and all the Grisha belts have this and cover it up with Warbler I'll show you exactly what I'll do take this cut it a bit and add a few things add some fur and for this skirt I want to do like a very long skirt goes all the way down um, only the shoes are shown the boots but and I felt like this amazing like very hard um, black cotton fabric which I'm going to use to make the skirt underneath so I've ordered the things um, waiting for the laces I've ordered four more laces and we are going to come back here when the laces arrive so about in a month or so guys we are back at it a month and a half almost two months later i 
finally have my juices right here. I now have five laces that will go into this little beauty right here. And let me show you how we're about to do it. That's beautiful. I love this. I don't know what day this is of these videos but this is an update on the kefta and after lots of sewing and lots of detailing we've reached this point so I have everything sewn um here we go this is the back I I'm in love with the back and like you can see there's like lining and everything oh my god I can't show the whole costume but me okay maybe you can see it now there's like here and here um and this is where the belt is supposed to go i still have after adding all the laces i still have eight of this and i'm gonna line up some here because i think it's needed like i'm gonna put for sure one here i'm not sure how still and they will go all the way down and also I'm gonna put one here actually because I would like for the hand detailed to be like this so there's more lining and we will be also making the skirt let me go and get the fabric so we got this um, really hard fabric which um, I'm gonna make my skirt hopefully uh, that will go underneath and make it like kind of poofy and everything so I'm really falling in love with how, like, with how this turned out and I'm going to I'm going to have to make the rest into a part two and on the second part we're gonna have the finished skirt it's just like a skirt I'm not gonna show this as a tutorial you can literally like it's just like a hem and everything like nothing crazy going on so on the second part I'm going to be finishing the belt we're gonna working on the headpiece which we're gonna make the same thing and you're also gonna see the final product at the end finally how everything is going to turn out and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for uh following me on this journey on the part one uh please see the next video guys part two coming up in a bit in a few days i'll promise